Hackers managed to leak the personal details of 4.6 million Snapchat users. For those of you who are unfamiliar with that app, it allows people to take a picture or video and then send it to another user. And then after that person views it for a few seconds, it's supposed to disappear. But we know already that it doesn't necessarily disappear. It does get saved in a database that uh, Snapchat uh, moderators have. Really? Now, the important thing to keep in mind of this recent leak is it doesn't have anything to do with pictures and videos. So pictures and videos have not been leaked. However, your phone number could be tied to your username, and that information will be available online. Now, just to give you a sense of what they did, the hackers obtained the information by exploiting a vulnerability in Ch Snapchat's Find Friends interface, which allows users to upload their address book contacts to help find friends who are also using the service. So basically, people who use Snapchat usually have some sort of hand um, I don't know, Pufferfish21 would be one of them, a you know, reference to a story we did earlier. And then um, what these hackers did is they managed to take that username and then tie a phone number to it, right? So that's a little problematic, right? And if it shows that those types of vulnerabilities exist, what does it mean for the type of photos and videos you're sending? Is it far-fetched that hackers can somehow find a way to expose that? I should also note that there is a company known as Gibson Security that let that uh, like told Snapchat about what was going on and said, hey, you know what? Here's a weakness. You guys should fix it. And they were hesitant to do so. Well, I think that they're pretty um, remorseful for that I now. I think this is my favorite part of the story. So mm -hmm. Gibson Security goes to Snapchat like a a week or two before this leak happens and says, hey, you're probably going to have a leak soon. Here's the vulnerability. Then later, after the leak, they set up a website so that you can look up and see if you were actually violated by this leak. Yet they claim they had nothing to do with the hack. Oh. <laughs> I know. I know. That, is, that is hilarious. It's like they, call, they called up Snapchat and went, well, you know, it would be... Uh, be really horrible if something would happen to your security. <laughs> <laughs> be really, really bad news. I would hate to see something happen where it would ruin your uh, company. Uh, yeah. Uh, and yeah. they said no, and then they went ahead and did it. And then the great yeah. thing about now this they'll is, listen next time. This yeah. is like your friendly neighborhood hacker, right? So they, they see a vulnerability, they hack it, they publish all the phone numbers, but they don't publish the last two digits in the database because they want to make sure that people are still. I mean, granted, you could very probably yeah, yeah. Easily. very Take easily, but somewhat somewhat easily, mm -hmm. yeah, go through you would have to really want to call that person, I guess. But the fact that they did take some measures to still protect their security, it's really just a function of, we want to prove to you that you had a vulnerability. You can't operate your business this way. Also, can I just um, criticize those who are naive enough to think that Snapchat will provide any type of security or <laughs> any type of privacy? Look, I get it. People want to send nudie pictures, right? Or, or sex videos or whatever it is. Just, just don't. Just don't freaking do it. I don't know how many times we have to give that advice. I mean, I know some of you probably don't care if that gets leaked, but I know that the vast majority of people do care, which is why they're using the service in the first place. But there's so much that you can learn from someone who's using Snapchat without them even realizing that you're learning about them. You know that Snapchat reveals the top three people that you chat to, right? Or you send snaps to. All you have to do is look up their handles and then you find out exactly who they are. And it's like, oh, this person is sending sex to this person. I mean, wow. that information is so easily or readily available, and I just want people to be aware of that. Don't believe for a second that they care or they're really protecting your security. I just assume from the or very privacy. beginning. I've never used Snapchat. I remember when it first came out, people talked about it, and I was like, this sounds terrible. Yeah. And I just, I just assume from the beginning that, I mean, the founder is like in his 20s, right? I remember seeing him on Jon Stewart. So, like, he just developed this whole app so that he could get a bunch of fucking nudie pictures, right? Mm -hmm. like, Which were comparatively he, hard to find on the internet before that. <laughs> 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 but this, this is like, this is like good, yeah, well, legit so shit that he now has like a huge database of all to yeah. himself. 